Storm also sending trees crashing down onto power lines and cars. KCAL News reporter Rachel Kim tonight with some of that damage. We are standing in the front yard of Kevin Delaney, and behind me, you can see his huge jacaranda tree that toppled over after the heavy rains, now exposing the entire root system. Now, when this tree toppled over, it took down power lines, but right now, the only one still without power is Mr. Delaney. You can also see the tree remains in the street here, so at this point, Greenleaf Street here remains blocked off. It's been raining constantly for four days, so, you know. It's not surprising to see this happen. Kevin Delaney took advantage of the break from the rain this morning and went on a walk, only to come back to his Sherman Oaks home and see that his century-old jacaranda tree had uprooted and come down. I did not hear or see anything happen until I walked around the corner at Beverly Glen, and the tree was across the street and crushed my neighbor's car. Kevin, when you realized if it had fallen the opposite direction, things could have been a lot different. You know, what goes through your head thinking about that? It's very nerve-wracking. It's the older, larger trees that um, we typically see and hear uh, about uh, failures and breakage. William McKinley is a consulting arborist who isn't surprised by all the downed trees we've seen across the Southland this morning, like the one at Delaney's home and other snapped and uprooted trees in Burbank, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, and Somas in Ventura County. McKinley says the heavy rain saturates the soil around the trees. The moisture can cause root decay, which can then lead to the towering trees falling over. You can still see some evidence of the fungus right in there, the wood rotting decay. The important thing to remember uh, when you have trees uh, growing over your house is uh, have them regularly uh, pruned and inspected. And they have uh, by an arborist. And I'm just thankful nobody got hit or hurt or no major property damage. It's kind of a blessing. Again, thankfully and amazingly, no one was injured. Just a big mess out here right now. And the biggest property damage was to Mr. Delaney's neighbor's black BMW, which remains under this tree. Reporting in Sherman Oaks, Rachel Kim, KCAL News.